This is a field that we learn how to cover up very well. And we always encourage to do so. So there is very hard to begin and many always fail to do so. We learn to lose our true innocence. Not the innocence like virginity, cursing or sinning, but in our view of the world and our thoughts and actions. Funny how many people look at this and laugh. It is the product of such a loss. I have seen this difference in real life often. Seeing a young child approach a three-legged dog. Not noticing that the dog was different from any four other four-legged dogs. The fact that it was missing a leg. Either way, he enjoyed himself and was in a happy bliss petting the dog. After petting for a while, the parent appeared and said in a very disgusted voice, Oh, don't pet that dog. It only has three legs. Immediately after, the child got up and away from the dog, grasped onto the mother, and was scared and disgusted of it. The child was now corrupt and had a dislike for it and consider it horribly disfigured. Beforehand, the child didn't have any thoughts or even recognize any problems until the parents introduced it. Take a moment and think. We as humans learn our ways by example of another in one way or another. It stereotypes, preference, sexual orientation, religions, and so much more contribute to diversity. But they also make for the what contributes to the gaps between each and every human in some form is such the curse of humans to want to be different. Yet, the approach always seems to put us in competition to be the group that defines what is good or bad. It is through an uh, inner instinct to become the higher authority. You may seek to take a high authority to govern how other people should react to differences and events, what is good or bad, are like our counterparts in the animal kingdom. Though the truth of the matter is that a better world could be created by excluding our own purposes when raising the next generation to allow people to the chance to see a world without much difference which al would allow us to connect more easily and effortlessly. Not caring if someone is a certain way just like a regular dog would not treat a three-legged or blind dog differently on bias. At the very most, someone's choices would be considered a preference and nothing more. Without losing one identity hide or hiding truths, a possibility of a utopia forms and can grow when this initiative is taken upon. By starting to limit such, it limits biases and stereotypes and allow people to feel more comfortable with each other in matters based on facts of the other.